Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to part two of the USS Nimitz or Nimitz class tutorial. You guys are looking for an island, that's what this tutorial is all about. We're going to make this ship, whichever one that you want, either the USS Nimitz, the Eisenhower, the Vincent, the Roosevelt, the Lincoln, the Washington, Stennis, the Truman, Reagan, or the Bush. Now the last two, the Reagan and the Bush, will require a different island and an, uh, an adjustment to the front bow. So this tutorial will be broken into three different sections. We're going to build the Nimitz style island first, uh, 68 through 75, and then the second part will be for the Reagan and the Bush, and then they're actually probably the third part will do the towers on top uh, because they are exactly the same from here and here up. They're exactly the same. So we're going to build this one first, and then we're going to build this one, and then we're going to put the towers on, and then you'll just put the tower on either which, whichever one you want. It'll be annotated. You guys will figure it out. And then we'll save the bow for last, uh, and then you guys can make that adjustment if you need to. So anyways, let's, let's jump in. Holy shit, let's stop babbling. You guys are here for the island. Let's start building it. So hopefully you should have everything laid out on your flight deck. Uh, if not, that's you know something you can do later. Hopefully you did leave a, uh, a hole right here through the flight deck so that we have a place to line up for the uh, for the islands. So, Alright, so let's get started. Light gray wool. Alright, so right here where the step comes through, hopefully you should have one, two, three, four, five block gap. That's about what I use. And uh, we're going to leave this one open. There's going to be a door here, <laughs> which doesn't really make sense. Um, you can adjust these doors later. That's just where I have mine. I forgot this is where the, uh, the stairs come up. <laughs> but there's actually a door here, <laughs> and you'll fall down the stairs if you use it. So uh, anyway, leave this open for a door and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then skip one for a door and go one, two, three. And then go across the back 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we're going to go forward by 1, 2. And then we're going to skip another spot for a door. And then go forward 1, 2, 3, 4. And then skip a spot for a door and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Skip a spot and go 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Skip a spot and go 2, 1, 2. Come out here and go 1, 2, 3. And then right back here go 1, 2. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then run that around the corner. Four, two, three, four. Skip a spot and go five. One, two, three, four, five, and then skip a spot and go one, two, three, four, five. So hopefully, if you did it right, that's what layer one should look like. All right, guys, starting on the back of the tower here, we're going to build this wall up by twelve total. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and it looks like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this wall over here. So from here down to this corner, build that up by 12. All right, so that's that wall right there. All right, same thing with the front wall. Go ahead and build that up. And then the last two blocks on this corner right here, take those back off. All right, and then go around the corner and build everything up from here up to this corner. All right, so you should have a box that looks just like this. All right, guys, right here in this corner, grab some gray stained glass or some dark glass. That just covers up everything on the inside, so you, if you don't have an interior, it just it looks better. If, uh, if you got an interior, use clear glass. But anyways, we're going to go up by six, so there's three, and then there's another three, and then we're going to go on top of that one, two, three, and four. All right, and on this fourth one, we're going to come up by one, and then go up three, two, three, same thing here, and across the front, and then build these top two out. So it looks like that. And then go back to your glass. And this one here needs to disappear and go one, two, three. Go across the front four. And then we need another block here and here. And then go ahead and put your glass on top of that, make it too high. And then, whoops, and then grab your light gray wool and cover up the top. So it looks just like this. All right, guys, right here, we're gonna grab some stone brick slabs and on the top hit box, we're gonna cover up the front all the way down and stop one block short, double it up twice so you have two solid blocks just like this. And then off the top hit box, go one, two, three, and go up one and destroy that one. All right, and then off of the top hit box, go one, two, three, and four. So it overhangs by one, and then you're gonna make this three wide right here. Skip three, one, two, three, and then make another one three wide. So it looks just like this. And then finish wrapping this around. All right, and then right up here, gonna grab some quartz, and right in the middle, we're gonna go one, two, three, 
And then on this side, just to change it up, we're going to put a solid piece of gray and then a quartz slab on top just like that. And then you can surround this with iron bars and top the rest of it with gray wool. Again, I'm not going to do that just to save on the tutorial. At the end, we'll fly around it and I'll show you all the different details. All right, guys, back here on this back left-hand corner facing forward, still with our stone bricks. We're going to go right here and count up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the upper hit box, we're going to go right across here, five pieces. So it looks just like that. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go six. Add one more on the end, make it six, and then go right in front of that. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. Wrapping around the side, we're going to go one, two, and three. So again, from the top, it looks just like this. And then right in the center, take your light gray wool right here, go up by one, two, and then take a piece of cobblestone wall and then stick that out the back. So it looks just like this. And again, you're going to cover this up with your carpet and then surround it with uh, your iron bars again and we'll look at that at the end of the tutorial. Alright guys right here on the corner sticking with your stone brick slabs we're gonna go right here on the upper hit box and we're gonna go one two and that's gonna go this way by six two three four five six and then this way by three two three and then it should connect in right here on the side and then fill this in but leave this gap open we're gonna put a ladder in right here <laughs> and I went to grab iron bars for ladder but anyways you're gonna put a ladder in between here and here and then go ahead and finish filling this in. And then two light gray pieces of wool right here for right now. And then you're going to surround this on the outside with iron bars. All right, guys, right here, one piece of stone bricks uh, to make a stair going up. And then we're going to go on the outside of that with light gray wool. And then one on the inside and run this forward to right there. All right, back here to this corner. And we're going to run this one 19, 2, 3, 4, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're going to have three slabs, one, two, three. And then we're going to put two here and then come across the front just like that and then hold out by one and out by two all right and then right behind that three one two three and run this three wide all the way back to the corner to right here and then fill this in all right back to the front we're going to take your stone brick slabs and we're going to trace around the outside and this is just making another path that you can walk around all right, skip this first one and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then go back here to the corner with your light gray wool. And on this third block right here, we're going to go out eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then skip one and do the same thing. And then we're going to connect these and just make it four. So two, three, four, just like this, and four going this way. So it just makes a little platform right on top. And then on top of here, we got two more light gray pieces, and then you can put some trap doors on the front of those. All right, next layer up, guys. We're going to go right here to this corner, and we're going to go out by one, and then we're going to go up by two, and take this across the back to right here, and then we're going to run these two here forward to the back of these uh, slabs right there, and bring this one in too, just like that. All right, we're going to skip these first two right here and go one, two, three, and four. Go to the inside right here and go back 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, use something for a stair piece and put it in right here and go back up here to the front and continue around. One, two, three, and go across uh, the front here. Should be 15. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40. 15 to this corner and then these four here. All right, go in by one and in by one. There's going to be a door right here. And then off the back wall right here, we're going to go seven pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a spot here. And again, this is non-critical. It's on the inside. It just makes a wall so you can't see back inside the tower. So this is, this part here is non-critical. You can make this however you want. But anyways, come over here to one, two, three, and then one, two, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then all I have here is a stair coming up to this particular floor right here. And uh, you can lay out your floor on the inside. Just go up one, two, three. Here's a floor. One, two, three. Here's a floor. One, two, three. And then here's a floor. So as you can see, this, this wraps around just underneath here. And you can build your stairs coming down again. After the tour is over, you can you know, kind of figure all that out where you want all your stairs coming up. And you can fill this floor in. And over here is just above this piece. Again, all the way across here. And I'm not going to fill it in, but anyways, there's a floor here. And moving back around, continuing this way, come out by one and take it down to the corner. And stop one short and put one right here. So there'll be a door right here too. All right, and then this wall right here, go right on top of that and double that up. And then stop one short right there. And you can put a little hand railing right here. 
and then of course this is going to connect in on the outside of this and run around the outside but two more pieces here and then a piece of cobblestone wall on the outside right here and you can put two pieces or one piece put a couple buttons on it. again this is this is non-critical just some details that you can add later all right and then we can just cover this up with slabs if you want to and then i've got another piece of light gray wool that goes right here and then a fence post piece that sticks out just like that and actually i've only got one piece right here and then go up here and you're going to build up the wall everything by one more actually two more so go ahead and do this two and make a door right here and continue this around and go this way all right on the inner wall right here build that up by two and then we're going to take some stairs up so just run that out and then go two three basically just so it just hides behind these these stairs and then your second wall piece goes right here and I've got two more pieces on top of that and then some more trap doors and then continue this moving forward to this corner and right here I've got one two and three and then two across this inner wall and then bring the rest of this wall forward and then make an opening for your door all right and then the rest of the way around you're going to do your glass covering everything up on the bottom and then you're going to come out by one and then outside this piece right here and then you just kind of take the corners off just to trim it out and make it look just a little bit better so it looks just like that next layer guys we're gonna go ahead and build up the wall by one just trace everything here and same thing back here all right this piece here just continue past the stairs run it all the way to the front on top of the glass just like that and then trace the glass around here and then build up here all right and again here on the inner wall go ahead and make a door here and then I've got another stair that comes through here and here something like that all right and then this inner wall piece here go ahead and cover that up and down this one here and here and run this one down the middle covering these up and leave an opening big enough to come up your stairs so right here leave uh, an opening of one two three four should be fine all right off this back wall right here go ahead and bring this out one and then one two and then run these across the back and then overhang them by one and run this all the way to the front and then fill in here and right here so again that one should look just like that all right now we're just going to go ahead and cover all this up so start right here in the corner go one two three put two in the middle here and then cover everything else up by one right here and then on the outside of this here we're going to do some more slabs one two three and then take this back all the way to the corner and stop one short right here all right continue this around again skip this corner and then fill these in solid and then again keep running this forward to right there and then cover these up and then go across the front and then across this wall right here and you're going to fill all this in solid and then cover the rest of the inside of these walls up and cut out here for your stairs going up so you should probably have another block on the inside here to connect the stair piece to again you can move all this shit around uh, once you get all this done then you have another one right here something to that effect finish covering up this piece and then over here on this side cover this up and next to it all the way to the back and finish bringing your stairs up through so one oops one <laughs> one two and run that to the corner fill that in and again leave enough so that you can walk through so about a four block gap all right back to your slabs and we're going to cover up on the outside upper hip box run this all the way around oops shit just like we did uh, down a layer or two ago so that you can walk around this and you'll cover this up with uh, carpets too 
carpets or carpet <laughs> plural carpet pieces and it should stop right there all right back here on this corner go ahead and cover this up for the next layer and run this all the way forward to the stone slabs uh, stone brick slabs rather right there skip space and go one two three four go to the inside one here skip one and go here and you're going to run that down 23 so it should stop one block short two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen twenty two and twenty three so it should stop again one block short of the inner wall and then run that across the back to right here run this one across to here to this corner and double that up on the outside here to these stone bricks and then the same thing here, double this corner up. One, two, leave an opening for a door. That's where I've got one on mine anyways. And then just run this to the front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then this one should go in to right here. So it should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come across by one, two, three, in by one, out by one. Cover these up, skip into here, and then run this across the front this corner and then one two three all right and then off this corner here we got one two three again a non-critical wall this is on the inside I've got a couple doors right here and then these stairs coming up just like that all right back down here on the left side going back where these stairs are off the back corner on the fourth block one two three four right here and then put a stair right there going up for the next layer all right now you're gonna build these walls up by three so two three and you just go right here seeing how we're next to these stairs and you can go ahead and build these up put in two more sets of stairs like that and then build everything up by two more actually three more sorry about that so we got three and then another one here and then another step right here so again it should be a total of three more on top of this so one two three up to the front follow all these leave a space for your door Same thing here. You want to leave a space for your door when you get to this wall. It goes across right here. All right, grab your glass, guys, and cover this up. And then come out by one. And bring this around to here. Go up one here, and then one, two, three. So it should connect in just like that. And then you have one more piece that sits on the inside just like this. So it should look like that. If you want to turn this back by one, you can. I just left it there. It just it looked better uh, just because this corner come out, and it just it looked more even. So... I just left it like that. Go ahead and cover this up and cover these up and then go across the front with your glass here and here and here and actually take this one out this one out and put some gray here here and here and we're gonna go up and make a window and then two here and then put your glass in here and then these should come around the outside just like this And again to this corner and then cover up the tops build up this inner wall and finish this one out and it should look like that all right, next layer we're going to cover all this up so we'll start right off here off this back where the step is and we're going to go up by one and then out by three so you're going to overhang three on the outside just like this and then overhang by two going this way so you're gonna have a two block overhang on this section to right here and then we're going to wrap around by one and then trim forward to the front wall right there and two three and four so looks just like that all right and then three pieces here and two pieces here actually one piece right here sorry about that guys all right and then come back up here and cover up the top and then around the corner and then eight pieces one two three four five six seven eight on the ninth block bring it out by one we're going to cover up this on the inside but we're just going to double up this front piece just like that and cover up the corners and come out from the corners here and here all right and then on the front of this here go one two three four five six seven so you bring this out two just like that and then around the corner build this little piece up here 
and then we're going to add some more right here and we're going to come out and go back 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then that's going to go back into here and you can fill this in solid so it looks like that and then you've got one two three four five and then one two three all right and then pick up right here and go one two three and overhang that all the way back to this corner where we started leaving an opening for the stairs coming up through and then taking it right here cover that up and here and put in another stair piece the inner wall and cover everything up in the center solid and make a floor all right back to your slabs go around this side here and we're going to trim this out one two three and here and then start walking around this is going to be another place where you can walk around the top and you can stop it right here and then i've got another set of stairs right here one two three four on the fifth one again you can cut in wherever you want i just that's just where mine is so that layer should look like that and then we've got four more pieces that need to go right back here on the fifth block one two three four five put two skip three and then put two just like that all right and then go ahead and cover up this wall here on the outside put two more blocks on top of these and run this to the front to right there all right and then back on the inside right here bring a wall so you've got a uh, a one block gap and then a two block gap up front and run that down even with this one to right here skip a spot and go seven one two three four five six seven back here on the third block come out by one there's going to be another door that goes right here and then two more pieces here in the center again i've got another doorway right here and then five pieces one two three four five all right following this around we're going to go right here <laughs> right there and then cover this up staying to the inside and then go one more here and then go one back and then follow this around three pieces this way one two three and then outline this with two pieces here one diagonal out to the front of this three pieces going this way back to the inside two times and then back on the wall one two three four and then this should take you back to the corner to right there and then I've got another wall here on the inside run this forward even with this piece right over here all right and then back here we've got four pieces and we've got six one two three four five six and then going back this way we've got one two and then two this way and then one diagonal and it should connect in just like that all right we're going to build all these walls up by two on the inside here so we've got two pieces here build that up by two this front wall and then follow it around right here we got a piece of cobblestone wall that i forgot about we're gonna have another piece right here and then i've got some stone brick slabs just on the lower hit box of that going just like this all right continue the wall around And when you get right here just make a doorway so it looks just like this and then cover everything up on the bottom with glass and then right back here come up one and then go out one and then start going diagonal and tracing the glass on the bottom to right there and then again on this inner wall you can do whatever you want if you want to build this up two more continue this around through here and put some doors in all right we're going to put another solid floor in so starting right here at the glass just start taking this around follow the glass go in here and we're going to hold off one the rest of the way around over to here to right there and then we're going to overhang here by one overhang these two by one and then two right here one two and then from these two blocks right here go ahead and build those up and then run those forward this one here touches to the inside here and then this one here stops another one short so you should see four diagonal one two three four and go ahead and fill in this floor solid all right guys we are going to put the top deck on this here so go ahead and bring this out by one 
just like this and follow this to the corner and then come in by one tracing this around and then around the front and then in the corners all right this overhangs by one just like the layer underneath all the way around to the other side back two right in here and then come out by one and then three four and then back in here two out one in one out one in one out one and run that from here down to here and then you've got a couple pieces that stick out here in the front so skip three blocks one two three and then put one two three four so there should be a one block gap right here all right grab your dark gray wool and right here and I know it's underneath but you're gonna put two dark gray right here and then one right here in the corner so go ahead and put it in right there and here and then fill everything in on the top with dark gray wool all right so it should look like this and that is the final design for the first set of towers all right guys if I splice this in correctly and not incorrectly but if I splice it into the video correctly uh, we have something hot off the press to go ahead and add to the first uh, eight sets of your Nimitz carrier so it should be right after you guys just built this uh, I got to look at some pictures uh, just a few minutes ago and something didn't quite look right with the tower uh, so I've added some more to it and this is what you guys are going to add to yours and uh, what you see here in white that's what you're going to add that's it I'm done <laughs> Uh, I'm just fucking with you guys. Anyways, uh, on the second layer, um, this piece sticks out a little bit further. And then there's more of kind of like an overhang up in here and up in here. So up in here. Up in <laughs> I'm in one of the moods tonight, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this right here, uh, I think there was an extra set of blocks right here on yours. So go ahead and take this out and then move this out to right here. So this is three high. And then you can run it all the way back to this corner and right here where this where the stair come up yeah that's that's gonna have to move um, so you're gonna have to get rid of that and just put a slab right in here and uh, maybe just kind of take that right off but anyways right above that by one block come out by one two three and then one two three four five and then one two three four five and then add one two and three right here and then you're going to come out by one and that should connect into this front little piece that you just made right here and then on top of that all you just got to put four blocks and then four blocks and that will make this extension piece and then all you got to do is just trace that over so just connect that over to this side and then connect this over to this side and the only thing i didn't do is i didn't put like on this this has a big cut in because of this this front leg uh, so on this side it's only got just right here the three that, that comes out and then the five and then the five so there's no need for like a really big cutout area <laughs> on this side just because of the way it's designed but anyways uh and then add this floor bring this back by two uh bring these guys down and leave that open in the middle if you want something like that i can't really tell what's what's in here uh it, it looks like some more type of uh you know radar type stuff here on the back uh, i'm not 100 percent sure and then just run this around and underneath just like that and that'll extend this back piece underneath should look like that so just push it up by one and uh, and then around the back side uh, this layer right here I added one more connects into the back of this and then right here <laughs> I've got an arrow to remind me I've pushed this up by one so three by whatever the hell that is <laughs> I'll just come back one two three four five six seven eight so it's right here where this uh, this slab is go in one more and then just take all these out and push them up by one so the finished product looks something like this and now I'm gonna have to add this to all my other towers <laughs> it looks much better it really does it's it's it looks I want to try to get this as close to uh, realism as I can guys that I want this to be the most detailed carrier that I've done yet um, that's why even up to this minute I'm still tweaking it uh, but anyways this is what it looks like uh, these two pieces right here off the corner <clears throat> speaking of accurate this actually comes a little bit more around this way and sticks out and this one here 
more kind of sticks out this corner and this is a little bit shorter so that's probably detail I will add on my own uh, if you guys just pull up some more pictures and, uh, and you can tweak this just a little bit more and you'll probably end up doing some of the same things that I've noticed the more I the more I look at it um, you know the more I start to see that if I if I mess with it I'll tweak it a little bit more but anyways uh, so that is where we're at next part we're gonna skip to uh, should be this back tower all right guys now for this back tower piece off this back corner, I'm going to use white for a holding block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then you're going to go in by 1, 2, 3. And then on the fourth block, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you go 3 this way. 1, 2, 3. Same thing right here. 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, and you're going to build this up 15. All right, so from right here to right there, you should have 15 high. And then all you're going to do is you're going to put two blocks here and then two blocks in the back and then we're gonna put these <laughs> then we're gonna put these little uh, step out things going up so starting down here at the bottom on the third set of blocks right here so one two three you're gonna come out by two come out by two come across the front like that and then across the front one two three four five and then I just got a door right here and then you can put some fence posts around that and then skip two and go up here on this one here and do the same thing. So come out two, walk across here, one, two, three, four, five, and do the same thing. Put a door and put some fence posts around it. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Skip two and go one and one here, go across the front and go five. And then on the side, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and bring that out by three. So you have a platform <laughs> not like that <laughs> so you got four here and then three coming out like that and we'll look at the trim pieces that go on after we get this thing built and then we've got to do that one more time up here so skip two on the third block here and go one two three and four so one two three and four and then build that up and again i got another door right here if you want to put one in there and then off the side piece right here we've got one two three and on the other side one two three so again from the top and then put another little door right there and that finishes off the bottom piece all right i made the top solid just to make this a lot easier i'm going to go one two three one two three one two and then same thing on the other side one two three one two three one two and then we're going to connect these and connect these and then across the middle and then on the front side and the back side we're going to go one two three one and then one two three one same thing back here one two three one and then one two three one pretty simple design and then on top of that just make a plus all right off these second layers right here the ones that you put the three on you're going to come away from the middle so you're going to go up out and over and then up by one so it looks just like this you're going to come up just like this by two so you can do that two times off of each corner away from center so we're gonna get rid of <laughs> we're, we're gonna get rid of this block everything needs to move down by one here and here all right so it comes straight off of this block away from the corner so over over and up there we go over over and up and then this corner one time and then two times and then same thing over here so it looks like this and then we're gonna put a platform right on top of that and this platform changes uh, for like the newer models, like the old, like the, the 68 uh, has a, a very square platform here. And then as it gets uh, newer up through the 70s, 72, 73, 74, you can find pictures of it. It becomes an X pattern uh, and it doesn't look so squared off. But uh, on the older one like this, on the, on the Nimitz uh, and the Vincent and stuff like that, it's got more of a flat platform back here that this radar piece sets on. And then we've got one more that goes around the outside just like this again you can find pictures and modify it a little bit better uh, if you're building uh, like i said one of the other ones or I, I don't even know if maybe one of the newer versions of the nimitz actually got this tower upgraded or not but anyways that's what that looks like and then we're just going to fly over here and look at the trim because the trim is like super super easy there's a there's a radar piece that sits on the back dead center two blocks up two pieces of cobblestone a piece of white uh, wool and then a fence post and then comes out by one, two, three pieces, and then take your bars across. Uh, I think it's one, two, three, 
and it's actually four the way that bars connect it'll actually be this is the fourth one right here and, uh, and then you can bring them forward so it'll be four pieces wide and then bring it forward and three high obviously you can see that's uh, three high <laughs> put some pressure plates around it uh, this actually I think got cut off it looks like it got cut off uh, <laughs> I think when I ripped it off the ship um, somewhere over there I'm missing a piece uh, so I think this actually will come out probably one more like that maybe even two more uh, this is a uh, actually a quite a big uh, radar piece and uh, I think is what we'll do is we'll take the stairs and we'll try to see if we can make it bigger building with jag there we go something like that and then maybe even uh, probably just pull these to right here and right here and maybe three pieces across the front like that and here here and here something like this anyways this is a, a, a pretty big circular radar um, and again this this tower this whole tower changes uh, as as the ships get newer through the you know through the class so this will change and you can kind of tweak it uh, you know to your liking again find the pictures of the towers that you want and again just kind of tweak it however you like and that finishes off uh, your tower setup all right guys welcome to part two of this tutorial if uh, you are here you are doing the Ronald Reagan or the George Bush all right so go ahead to lay out for the tower make sure that you have your stairs cut out uh, right here and make sure that you have one two three four go back by one block right here and leave this open I know there's a door here you'll walk through and fall through there it's a small design flaw but uh, j just ignore it <laughs> it'll be fine all right and then we're gonna go back 13 2 three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen all right and then we're gonna go forward skip one one two three four five skip one one two three four five skip one one two three and four go across the front by eleven two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven all right come out to the front by three one two three all right go behind this white line by two skip one and then go seven one two three four five six seven and then come out by one and go one two three four five six seven eight come out again one two three four five six seven eight all right and we're gonna have a seven block gap one two three four five six seven and then on the eighth block we're gonna go two get rid of these holding blocks we don't need those and then go across here two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen and then go back by one and you should have a seven block gap one two three four five six seven all right guys facing the back of the ship start here with the front and you're going to build everything up on this layer by 12 but just follow along so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 and then make this front wall solid from here to here all right and then right here in the corner you're going to knock out two blocks and <laughs> shit all right and then right here in the front corner you're going to knock out two blocks just like that all right come around here to the side here and you're going to grab some glass use some dark uh, gray stained glass or some black stained glass if you don't have an interior it just kind of hides everything or if you've got an interior done you can go ahead and use clear glass but we'll go ahead and build this up by two and then go on top of that one two three and then on the fourth one one two three four oops four and then do that twice right there all right and then go out two more in the front by four so it looks just like this and then bring this around the corner two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then take your glass and cover in right here and we'll need two more blocks right here one at two and right there and then cover this up so it looks just like that all right moving down the side again we're going to keep building everything up by 12 and the openings in the front make sure that you have for your doors all right and then the next wall and then this overhangs this by two just like that or covers it up rather and then make this wall solid from here down all right and then the next wall same thing bring it up and cover by three one two three and then make this wall solid so again it looks like this so far and actually i made a mistake guys right here bring this down here by two and then it's not really a mistake go ahead and cover uh bring this in solid and then just bring this three and then just bring this over to right here so it looks like that and there should be three blocks right here one two three and then three back here and then we've got two blocks here and in front of that just like this all right going down the side again looking at it go ahead and build up this next wall here 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oops, 9, 10, 11, 12. Connect it across here, make it solid, and then cut out this door. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, bring it across. So again, it's a, uh, an opening of four, one, two, three, four, and then fill it in the middle. And then you're gonna cut out these two blocks right here, one, two. All right, make the back wall solid from this corner right here, down to here. And then this back wall here, make it mirror this right here, so make sure you have an opening here. Make it solid and cut off for your doors. All right, so that's what this wall here looks like. All right, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna bring this out by three. On the third block, one, two, three, and bring it out one, two, three, four. And turn and take that toward the front. And make sure you have eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the ninth block, bring that out four, and that's where you're gonna connect this into. And you're gonna build this up by three. And the same going this way and put a bottom on it. Just like that. All right, you can remove this inner wall from here to here. All right, back down here in this corner, you're gonna leave the bottom two exposed and you're gonna come right across the top. One, two, three, and you're gonna build that out to this corner. And then come around the corner here and cover up these two and run this all the way across the front, stopping right there. All right, take your stone brick slabs and you're gonna cover in right here and wrap it around this section here. Into this corner, skip this block here, and then run it the rest of the, the rest of the way in, just like that. All right, and then underneath this glass piece right here, on the upper hip box of this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then come back to this one here and go four more, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. All right, put a piece of cow, uh, quartz right here in the middle, just like that, build it up by two. You're gonna outline this in rails or bars, wrap it around here, it'll connect in here, wrap around there, and then continue around this way, here, here, and there. And then you can cover on top of these and on top of those with uh, your dark gray carpet, and uh, that'll make that look a little bit better. All right, starting on this side right here, we're gonna leave a two block gap, one, two, and then go one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna go back to the inside, one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and you can pull this back through. Back to this corner, it doesn't matter, so it's gonna run out and get covered up anyways, but we're gonna put a stair piece in right here. And then you can run from this corner here, back to the front, to right there. All right, I've got an inner wall right here, and this is non-critical. You can put this in wherever you want, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is just where I have mine, and then I've got a door right here, and then two, three, so it touches right here and then trace this around the front, two, three, one, two, three, and then take this over to the corner, and then these four here, and then one, one, and this will be another opening here. And again, you can put your floor in here, and speaking of floors, you can put a back wall in right here if you want, kind of trim it out, and then put a ceiling over top of this, something like that, fill that in solid, it doesn't matter. Whatever your preference is for this right here, Make a solid wall going across here, again with some doors coming into here, and then every other three, or every three, I've got a floor, so one, two, three, floor, one, two, three, floor, one, two, three, floor. And you can see this right here, if you follow that around, that is gonna come in just above that glass and make this piece up here solid for this floor, just like that. All right, moving around this side, we've got an inner wall right here, starting off this third block and run this all the way back to the corner to right here and then connect across the back leave one open for a door whoops right here and then pull this floor back across and fill this in and fill this one in all right and then you're going to start right here at this uh, slab and you're going to run this all the way back to the corner to right here and then make this solid. All right, switch over to your stone brick slabs and right here where this opening is, we're gonna go one 
and then wrap around this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're going to double that up going back this way and then two this way. And then bring these two out and then three this way. One, two, three. And then skip one, two, three, four and cover up one, two, three. All right, and then put one more strip right here. All right, bring this out by one. And we're going to put an upside down stair piece right here and one right next to that. <laughs> right there and a piece of cobblestone wall behind that just like just like that and then we've got two more over here on this corner one right here and one right next to it facing back oops <laughs> facing back boy these things don't like to set very well there we go just like that and then again with some cobblestone wall pieces behind this and then you're going to surround this with fence posts right here and then out here and then around to the inside to here and then right there all right, off this corner here, get rid of this block, go over two, three, and go down by one. And then I've got some cobblestone wall pieces that run down the wall just like this. And again, that's just for trim. Go back to your light gray wool. And out from this block, go one, two, and get rid of this one. And then go over two, one, two, and then three, and get rid of these two. So it looks just like that. And then over here on this corner, pretty much kind of the same thing. We're gonna go into the third block, one, two, three, and then down by one. And then I've got a piece of cobblestone wall here. And then we go back to our light gray wool on the second block. One, two, get rid of this one, put here. And then right off this corner, right here, just like that, touching this block. So again, if this one was here, it would be touching. So they kind of mirror each other. All right, guys, we're going to build up the next layer by two. So starting here, one, two, three, come out just like that. And then build this up one, two, and then build this up one, two. Again, this is the inner wall. It's not critical. You can put whatever you want in here. But I'm going to build it out just like I have mine. And uh, on the inside right here, I've got some stairs coming up. Again, you can put them wherever you want. But just make this solid for now. All right, and then back here around this corner, move this one in by one, build it up by two, and then out by one just like that. And then you can see where I've got my bars in right here. All right, switch over to your glass pieces and go one, two, three, and then cover up the bottom here all the way around. And here and here, we're going to put in corners. Fill those up by two and fill these in and this covers up here and goes around to the outside get rid of the corners and same thing here and then continue around building up the inner wall by two and make sure you leave this opening for a door and then back to the back wall and run this across and back here in the corner, we're going to put two blocks right here and then to your stone brick slabs and go one, two, and three. And then bring it out this way, two, three, four. And then back here, go two, three, four, two, three, four, five, and then five here. Go back into the corner and go one, two. And then underneath, you're going to bring another di uh, diagonal block right here and over. So it looks like it's coming out like that and I'm holding it. And then you're going to make the bottom of this solid where it connects here and go around this side and your light gray wool again. And this is going this way at an angle, just like that. And then it's going to connect in here. And then everything around this little section can get built up and around the back side here. From here, two, three, and you're just going to make these blocks look solid from the outside. And then you can run your cobblestone wall up the side like that. All right, same thing over here on this corner. We're going to take our stone brick slabs on the second block and go one, two, three, and do it again. One, two, three. And let's go ahead and build a little bit of this wall up right here so we've got something to build against. And then back to your slabs and cover up here by one and then overhang by one. So it should be one, two, three, four, five. And then do that again, but do four, one, two, three, four, and then come back and go one, two just like that go underneath and then your blocks are going this way and up and this way and up and then connect here and make it look solid around the front in the middle and solid solid and solid and these two all right and then finishing this wall down here, right here and right here. This inner wall, go ahead and bring that over 
and you can just bring it over a few because we're going to put in some more stairs. It's just to cover up where the stairs are sitting here and here. And then back to your light gray wool and leave these exposed here so you can put in like some little handrails just like that and finish running this wall back to this corner here and here. And that is that layer. All right, starting right here, guys, we're going to cover up this inside wall and bring this across here and start covering up the glass. Right here, these should have come out by two. One, two, and then cover that up and go three. And then start covering these up. All right, and then build up this inner wall here around the corner. Again, to right here, take this a little bit further so you can put a stair in and a little bit of a handrail and here. All right, and then back here on these corners. All right, we're going to build this up by one here. All right, and then we're going to go in just like this and come back out. And there's going to be a little stair that goes in right here. And then you're going to run these three up to the front. All right, so your overhang looks like this. All right, and then we're just going to cut out a couple blocks right here. One, two, three. And actually stay right above your glass right here. So you got one, two, three, just like that. All right, back down here to this corner, we're gonna grab our slabs. All right, right here on this corner, we're gonna hit the upper hitbox, one, two, three. And we're gonna go in by one. And I think my lower platform needs a little bit more of a floor, and we'll get that here in just a second. Go out by one, and then go over by five. Two, three, four, five. Back in by one. Back out by one. And then back by five. Two, three, four, five back in by one, over, and then it should connect into the wall. Just like that. All right, these three here are solid. And then we're gonna cover in here. Oops, and then we're gonna cover in right here. And here, making that solid. These going across here are gonna be solid. So just build those up. And then right here, we're gonna build back in here, one, two. All right, again, so it looks just like this. And then right here on the corner, we've got one, two, three, four. All right, from this corner here, we're gonna count 13 blocks from right here to right there. And then we're gonna get rid of these two blocks here on the corner. This one here, we're gonna take back by two, three, and then over, just like that. And then we're gonna put a stair piece right in here. All right, off of this corner here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then back in and then out, and go five, two, three, four, five, and then back in and then back out for five, two, three, four, five, back in, back out, back in, and it should touch the wall right here. All right, and then underneath, these three blocks should be solid, one, two, three, and then these three on this side, one, two, and three, and then put a floor in, and out here, and these two right here. And then again, right here in the corner, one, two, three, four. So again, it looks like this. All right, and then we're gonna finish off this inner wall right here. Make sure you got an opening so that you can get up through one, two, three, and on the fourth block, come out by one. And actually this piece here continues on all the way to the front, connects in right there, and then you can fill this in. Again, leaving about a three block gap so that you can walk up through. All right, guys, back here off this corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, and bring this out to the wall and go back five, cover that up. And then we've got two in here and then we've got another set of steps going up right here. And you can put, whoops, and you can put one in right here. Again, you can use your stone brick stairs. I'm just showing you where the stairs go. And then back over here on this corner, same thing. So we've got some stairs that go up here and here. All right, and then pull this over and surround your stairs, just like that. And then pull this wall forward to right here. And it should be 29 blocks from this corner. I think I'm off just a little bit by probably one block. Should be 29 to right here. <laughs> yep, I'm off by one block. So take these two out, and then we're gonna put another one in right here. And we're just gonna step into the inside and trace this, and trace it on top the rest of the way around.
back to this wall here. Put another place for your stair. All right, leave an opening. And then run this wall here solid. Fill everything in here solid, around in there. And then run this wall back, filling this in. And then cover all this up here. Cover all that up solid. All right, guys, so we fill this in solid. We fill this in solid, and then I run these two back to the corner. So that that's solid. All right, next layer up, we're going to build a wall right here. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and then bring that up two, and bring that up two, and bring that up two. All right, we got some flat glass in here, and we need to go back to the gray and cover this up all the way around here. And then one, two, three. On the third block, bring that up too. Make a door right here. And then this wall is going to go back going this way. Cover this up with glass. And then out here. Around this corner. And just run this one straight back in so it connects to the wall. All right, we've got a front wall here. Again, this is non-critical. And you just come in by one, make an opening here, go two, three, four, got an opening here, and then bring this wall up, bring that up, come in by two. All right, on the other side of this right here, we've got one piece and then two pieces of glass, and then we've got a door that goes over top of that, so build that up and come in by one. All right, run this wall here back and stay on the inside to right here, stay to the inside, and then build that up three total across here all right back here on this wall leave a one block gap and then we're going to take this down to the corner to right there and actually one block short grab your stone brick slabs and we're going to wrap around the corner here on the upper hit box right in there and then take this wall down to the corner and build it up by three and then back here build this up back to the corner and stop one short right there all right guys this back wall right here we need to take this off and one two three and this is where the wall is going to connect across right here so we need to remove this sorry i just went back too far all right and then just fill this in here make a wall and then fill this in solid so it should be six wide and then on the outside here take this across to right there all right and then on the fifth block one two three four five we're going to go up two and go six two three four five six and build that up so you should have three blocks on this side and actually seven and then bring this forward and then this forward and then build out the back two three and same thing on the other side one two one two one two and then come out here and build that up so it looks like that all right, and then the little radar dishes down here is basically some upside down stairs. If I can get them to do it, you're going to go here and here, surrounding the platform, oops, on the outside here, just like that. Turn the corner, and I'll take those other ones out here in just a minute. It's just making it easier for me to set these right now. Just like that, and take out the middle ones. That way they all sit just like this, and then go right on top. And then cover on top of that with slabs. I'm not building the other one, but it's built the same way. All right, guys. So I'll put fence posts around here. Uh, I've got a little ladder right here. We're going to build this thing up one more time. And put a ladder on this one here. And these come out by one. So it looks just like that. Again, put some ladders around here. Put in some stairs right here. Come in block, over block, and then put in three. And then you're going to build this up and put in another stair piece right here. 
and build up this back wall and continue forward covering up everything up here the inner wall here across this across the glass here and continue covering the glass up into here and then finish making this wall solid alright next layer guys we're gonna go ahead and build this up again and then bring these out again by one and then continue across this back wall here building that up by one all right we're going to overhang this side by three one two three and then overhang this side by one and we're going to double up on the outside of that and then bring this one out by one and then do another solid wall or another solid run behind that oops and bring that out by one we're going to make all this solid anyways we're going to just make it a big floor that's going to go up to here all right build this inner wall up gives us something to stick the next layer blocks on and same thing here again because we're going to make all this solid anyways I'm going to build this up again all right we're going to have another stair that goes right here and cut an opening one two three four and uh, three three or four should be fine whatever double that up bring this down past that and connect it into here all right and then you're going to overhang right here on the third block and run that forward and then you're going to leave five exposed one two three four five and you're going to one two three four five and then one two three all right we're going to overhang these corners by one and here and we're going to go eight blocks one two three four five six seven eight and then backtrack stopping by one all right back around this side we're going to pull these corners up all right to right here in the corner one two three and four and then one two three and then one two one two and then we're going to cut out one two three get rid of these two here and these three here so from this corner here down to this corner here should have 20 blocks and then we're just going to take our stone slabs and cover in here and then fill everything on the top in solid i've got a hole cut right there for some stairs and that should finish that layer off let's move back around here to the front and we should be covering this one two three four five six seven and then go across the corner one two three and then bring this out by three we're going to trace around this two three and then back twice one two and then back it puts us right here sitting on top by four four pieces and then in by one and then take this down to the corner to right here and across the back to right here and now we're going to connect into here so build this up by one and then you're going to put two blocks on top of this well it's, it's going to make it two blocks so you can put one on top of it making it two and then you're going to connect in here one two three and then, and then we're going to build this back tower here in just a minute all right move around the corner and keep covering everything up up to right here should have a two block gap across the walkway and actually my stairs are in here would help because we need to, uh, a wall in here right here <laughs> a wall in here right here <laughs> That's awesome, Jag. That, that's that's really good. <laughs> Bring this back to the back. Ooh, it's getting late. All right, and then we need a walkway back here. Four wide, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to take this across to the inside of these stairs and run this forward to right there. All right, back over here on this seven piece, go two, three, four. Come in diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then make an L pattern going back three, just like that, one, two, three back diagonal by one and then this should connect into that wall here all right running this around again stay the inside trimming this off all right there's going to be another door here go in by one and again we've got an inside wall right here and you can cut out wherever you want for doors all right this wall here skip space one two three four and then i just brought this in by two and then you can put your bars around here on the outside same thing we did on the lower layers 
and that takes care of that layer. All right, guys, we're going to finish building this up. And uh, we're going to go up by two right here. Bring everything up by two. And don't forget to make a door right here. All right, and then right here, build that up. One, two, and three for your door. And then cover with your glass. And then out and around. All right, and then back here on this tower piece, we're gonna build this up by two more. So one, two, and then connect it in here to the back of this wall here and then build around here. And then two more pieces on this, but come back and over by one, just like that. So up, over, and one, and then add two. So it's just kind of stepping in. All right, we're gonna build a solid, solid layer, starting right over here. We're gonna just overhang by one, and you can leave this block in here if you want to. And we're just going to trim everything to the outside by one. All right, around the glass here, right on top. And then right in here, we're going to build these up by two. And this one here, run these two even with the wall. And then build this up. I think I threw an extra block in there. <laughs> and then here, one, two, and three. And then three out here. And one in the corner. Again, so it looks like that. And then fill everything in the middle, solid. All right, so that's filled in solid. And let's go ahead and build this up again. All right, so cover up these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come up one on each side. And then right here. We're going to turn these side ones into sevens. So one, oops, not back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should be right next to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then connect across here. And then fill this in solid. And then put five on the outside. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, guys, now we're just going to trim everything out overhanging by one. So start up here and then just work your way around. Okay, again, when you reach this corner, we're going to build this out by two. This one over here is going to go up and run this way, overhang by one. And we're just going to kind of double up everything in the corner like this. So it looks like that. And then grab your dark gray wool, and we're going to go right here in the corner here. And actually, on this one, guys, is going to be the dark gray wool on this one, and then Let's fix that. And then we got two more pieces of dark gray that's going to go right here. So from underneath, going to be on the third block. One, two, three. So these two here are going to be dark gray. And then cover up the front of those with light gray. It's leaving one block here open. One, two, three, and four. And then fill everything in the middle with solid dark gray. All right, so it looks just like that. And we're going to go back here and build this up one more time. And it's going to be just a little bit different. So we got one, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three on each side. And then one, two, one, two. All right, and then we've got a quartz block right here on the end. Build it up twice and then wrap it with stairs. Here, here, and here. And then you can put slabs here in the corner. So it fills that out and then wrap around the outside with some fence posts, just like this. All right, guys, let's build this back piece of tower. We're not going to touch this until uh, part three of the tutorial because they're, they're both the same for, for each one of those. So the other guys are going to catch up to us. So anyways, we're going to put one block here and then one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to have three on each side, three on each side. Build this up again here and here. And then we've got a solid piece here in the middle. 
And then we've got upside down stairs wrapping around the outside going this way. Just like that. All right, and then we're just going to cover this up back here, right here, and then behind that, and then overhang two on each side, or well, one block on each side, just like that. And then we're going to run this forward, two, three, four, and actually take this back one off. We don't need that. And run this two, three, four, five, and then go across here. And there gets a door right here, and then cover the top part of this again with a solid piece and then some stairs just like that all right back to the middle here we're gonna go back with our light gray wall across the middle one two three and then behind that by five one two three four five two three and we're staying to the inside of this now and then across here and then three in the back one two three all right and then we're gonna build up the middle and then put one block on each side and we're gonna do nine across the middle three six nine and then one on each side here and here all right gonna go across the middle here and then one here and one here all right and then we're gonna go right off the corners one here and take that out and then one here and take that out same thing here and the same thing right here all right and then we're gonna put a plus on top here and then moving out at an angle away from the center so you're going to go away from the center so this one here is going to go out and up by one this one here is going to go away from the center so this way and then away from the center and then away from the center so it looks like that all right and then we have a platform go ahead and bring two up here and then you're just going to go out each way by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then you're just going to make that a uh, platform. And then you're going to surround that with fence posts. All right, and then on top of here, we've got one more piece of this. Two cobblestone, one, two, and then a piece of white wool on top of that. And then a piece of fence. And then out the front here, or towards the back of the ship, We've got one, two, and three. And then just take your iron bars and go right in front of this one, two high. And then you can just go out on each side like two. Iron bars are a bitch. And then, and then underneath. And then out one more and then turn it. Just like that. And same thing on this side. And that completes this back tower. Again, put some fence posts around that. And that is it for the Ronald Reagan or the Bush. Now we're going to go to part three and everybody is going to catch up and do this top tower piece. All right, guys, welcome to the main mast section. So it don't matter if you came from this one or you came from the Reagan or the Bush. Uh, we all came here to the same place. <laughs> you all should have the same exact top on it. Uh, it doesn't matter which which island that you built. So we're gonna start right here at the front and we're gonna come in and we're gonna put in four Whoops <laughs> Start off shitty four pieces of quartz like that And then we've got upside down stair pieces here and around the outside And we're just making all the little radar pieces on the top and uh, they're all kind of the basic um, Pattern that we've been using with the upside down stairs and the quartz blocks So this one here again is just is gonna be like the one we made probably on this one over here, we've already done this one. I can't remember if, if we did it on the big island or not. I think we did, and then put a couple slabs on the top. So you've got this one out of the way. And then over here in this corner, all right, we should have, this one should be gray and that one should be gray. So you have two spots right here. Make that adjustment if you need to. And then we've got one, two, three, four. Again, same thing, upside down. <laughs> not like that and then fill it in and put some slabs on the top. All right, and then right behind here, we're gonna make a big circle. So start with your slabs, straight off this corner right here, that this back stair is on, we're gonna put a slab right here. And then we're gonna have two blocks, and then a slab, and then a slab here, and then two blocks next to that, one in the middle, here, two. And we're just making just a really basic circle. 
and then outlining it with your slab pieces here in the corners just to make it look a little more round so it looks like that all right and then go back to your gray wool and over here we've got another piece all right same thing around the top apparently i didn't do that on mine as i need to and you probably do too is turn these over to light gray that way when you put your fence posts around it may, makes a little more sense and you should have three pieces here showing and then come in by four to that point right here and put two three four and then two here and then another row here and then two just like that all right back here we're gonna skip two blocks one two and then on the third block here one two three and we're gonna put three here again more just basic circles and then back off this back corner here we're gonna go one two three four five and then one two three four five and then it's just gonna be a five by five two three four five two three four five two three four five and then across the back so you should have four on each side four here four here and then four across the back all right this piece right here we're going to add some stairs right here on the outside and on these two and here and then go back to your solid quartz and trace behind it to the corners and then you go solid across the middle and then take your stairs again and cover those up and solid again in the middle and then put some slabs on top so it looks just like that all right this little piece right here fill in the center and build that up for one two three four on the outside we're going to go three and then two all right towards the back right here we're going to go one two three four five and then one two three and one two and then one on each side all right right on top of this we got one and then two on each side all right and then on this one here we've got two coming out here and two coming out here all right on the back we got one two three four so on this one here we got one two three and four and then same thing two on each side and two on each side and one coming down here and here and then again we'll trim this piece out here in just a few minutes we'll go look at the details all right back here to the main piece build this up 13 so counting that as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. all right guys on the left side facing forward right here we're going to count up 1 2 3 4 5 and then we're going to count over to 3 and put two pieces just like that and then bring it out by 3 and actually make that 3 wide i think i cut part of mine off because i've got a door right here and then on this side we're going to come out one two three four and then go five two three four five and then make a square and then on the back side here we've got three just like that and again then we'll look at the uh how it's held up here in just a minute all right moving up count up the front to the eighth block so one two three four five six seven eight and come out by one and then come out and go up by two come out and go up by two and then come out and go up by one and then off the back count down to the third block one two three and come out by two up by one and up by one same thing right here two one one all right we're gonna go ahead and make this solid across the top and do one layer around the outside and off the back another one here one two three four five so hold in one block off each side and then one two three and do that two more times so it looks just like that all right and then off the sides dead center one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven same thing on this side one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten eleven and then six off the front so one two three four five six all right next pattern come in here by one and go one two three and then one two three one two three and three back here build that up by eight so two three four five six seven eight all right and then on the fourth block one two three four we're going to wrap around it and then on the sides here we're going to put two here and two on this side oh, then go ahead and fill this in solid and then we got nine out the sides so one two three four five six seven eight nine put two pieces here in the corners 
one, two, three, four, five, five. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two in the corners. And then off the front, got one, two, three. And do that two more times. And then off the back, one, two, three. And do that seven times. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, off the back right here, we're going to go up by one, two, and then go one, <laughs> go up one, and then up two, just like that. So that kind of holds that piece. All right, and then right here in the middle, do the same thing. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, and make that solid and build it up seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, put one in the middle, three off the front. Let's uh, find the front. <laughs> three right here. One, two, three, and three off the back. One, two, three, and make it ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then we've got three here off the side. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's pretty much it, guys, for the main mast. The rest is just trimming out. We've got another little piece down here, and I'm going to show you how that's made, too, because uh, I, I got ahead of myself. Uh, over here on this little side piece, we're just going to build it up by two, and they're going to wrap around the top and outside by slabs. So just like that, come just to the outside. And then on the inside, you can put some carpet and use some cobblestone wall pieces, put four and then facing the front of the ship that way. Uh, this is supposed to be at an angle. So you can take two solid blocks here on the corner pieces and then come out at a 45 with slabs and then slabs going that way. And then I've got some random pieces here, some little antenna pieces, cobblestone wall, uh, some fence posts on top of that. And again, this is my texture pack. Uh, it, it makes it look a lot better uh, depending on what texture pack you're using or default. You can find something that looks pretty good. Um, this is actually a little bit beefier on this one. Uh, I've got some corner pieces here that when you come out and come over, you want to come up one, two, three, three, <laughs> because we're going to connect in uh, with this rigging. And then over here on this side, off this corner, one, two, three, and then come in by one and go up one, two, three, and four. And that's where the other rigging piece is going to catch and go up. And I'm going to turn all these over to, uh, to blocks here in a minute so we can count them together. And then you see on the outside where I've trimmed this, every other one. And then same thing on this side, every one. There's lights up here. Um, that We don't have anything in Minecraft that we can use. Um, so I've got just the little stanchions where, the, you know, where they would be. Uh, I've got a, a couple little pieces up here that you can lay down uh, and trim out the top again however you want. Underneath here, uh, we, again, we just use fence posts to hold this up. at four in the corners. If you want to thicken it up at the bottom, use some cobblestone wall. Connects in here to the side. Uh, we've got a piece of block here and a piece of block on the other corner with two pieces of fence posts on top of that And that's where the back rigging is going to catch into and then around this here We've got two little steps here and the corner of mine got ripped off <laughs> I think it's when I copied that side to this side it it screwed this up So ignore this big gap in mine. I've got to I've got to fix mine But anyways, there's the door so on ours. We've got three coming out these fence posts should come around just like that Two pieces of gray wool and then white uh, block on top and that's where this rigging is going to catch into same thing on the other side uh, the rigging is going to go up to the back side of this and tie in right here on the second block and on the second block in again i'm going to turn these over uh, to blocks here in just a minute so we can see them uh, my fence post just wraps around the outside it doesn't actually set on the decking itself it kind of floats around and then i've got two or three pieces of uh, fence posts here on the end again for some radar type stuff and then on the next layer up I've got another piece right here and then I've got uh, some more variating stuff here with cobblestone wall and a couple fence post pieces again uh, wrapped around the middle I put some slabs again just to kind of give some more shape and dimension to the main mast up on top back here we've got another uh, radar type piece uh, one block and then one two three four pieces of cobblestone wall one <laughs> this is going to be fun to count. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of fence. And then every other one on the top hitbox, put this little uh, flower shape or, you know, four, <laughs> four slabs. But on this one here, put a block. And then, again, you can make this mass a little bit higher if you want to. 
and, and then we've got another big uh, radar panel right here again very simplistic design piece of cobblestone wall three by five six pieces on top really really easy all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch all these blocks over to wool and then we're going to count them and figure out how to get the rigging all right guys i've turned all the bars over into uh pink blocks <laughs> again this is not a science it's not perfect it doesn't look perfect I, i've still got kind of a little kink here in the middle uh, and you guys may want to adjust this accordingly uh, and remember the bars especially in 110 now they connect very very weird um, so when you put one up it's by itself and then it, it connects over and I think it's it's just really really a pain in the ass so probably put in the uh, the blocks first and then go back and try to replace it with the bars and then move them backwards and forwards until you can get it to look like uh, like that <laughs> it's very hard it took me it took me a long time to do and I still don't have it perfect uh, but I'm going to show you the block setup uh, just so you guys can hopefully uh, at least have a starting point. So down here on this one here where I told you to connect into, one, two, two, three, above the main fencing. So actually four from here. We're going to come out by two, three, and then up by one. And then it splits, one, two, three, and it goes into another set. So it starts going out, it's going to split out into three. So here we're going to go out uh, our back uh, one, two, three, and then up by one, and just mirror on the other side. And uh, because I switched the bars over, uh, the other side probably won't mirror or match exactly like the other one. Again, because bars are kind of funny. So just um, just mirror this side as, as it goes out, and then I'll show you the middle too. But again, this, this piece here is the same as these two over here. Hopefully that should make sense. Uh, but anyway, so we went two, two, and then three, and then up by one. And then we've got another one, two, three, four, five, where it's going to split again. And then it's two, 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 three, two. And then setting up on top of that, we've got up one and over one. And then the center just goes up by one. And then up one and in one. And again, on that side, it's gonna be it's gonna be the same thing. And it's just it's mirrored. <laughs> again, guys, it's a challenge. You guys can figure this out. And then go back by one, and then up by three, two, three, three, two, three 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 two so pretty much it's, it's twos and threes all the way up from this point on and then it should connect into right here an upside down stair piece and I use quartz it just it looked better and then uh, and that is pretty much it again kind of fly around let you look at it here's my main uh, right the radar piece down here it just automatically switched over so whatever and then here on the back I mean, again, I'm just going to kind of fly around and stop the video where you want. There will, I'm sure there will be reference pictures, a lot of them, uh, again, down in the description so that you can download this and then spin around it and, uh, and, and get a better look at it. And then here on the back, this connects in. This gets really, really cobble-fucked. <laughs> but anyways, you got uh, one, two, three, just like that. And then you've got one more that comes up, and then it makes this little piece. And then the inner one goes up and in by two over by one up by three in by one up by three in by one up by one in by one and then one two three and it should connect in right back here and I don't have uh, any upside down stairs piece because it, it connected in right there and then here is up three over two and then back one and there's another one back here again it's just just how it connected that's probably actually not there but I'm gonna leave it and then make a little L here going that way and then one on top make another L so double stack two L's and then go up two and then an L going up and then two going back or forward toward the front of the ship and then one here and then going up three and again the other side should be the same it's just mirrored but I'm going to show it to you because that's going to be a bitch to try to figure out mirrored um, and actually I think it's no it's a little bit different because this platform was here so on this one here again you're gonna go up one two and then it's gonna connect in here by one and then it's gonna split by three and the right one is gonna go back one and over one and then up one back one and up two and then back one over one up one over one and then over one up two more and over one and back one up one over one two three four so four right there and then the left one here is 
up one, back one, up one, back one, up one, back one, up two, back one, up two, back one, up one, two, three, four. So this one actually was a lot easier because it was it was a little bit yeah, it, was, it was a better angle than this one. <laughs> so again from this side, and then again from this side. So again, I'm trying to give you as many different looks at it as I can. Again, ignore the <laughs> the big hole. I can't believe that did that. I don't know why that did that. It's kind of weird. Uh, but anyways, that is it for the island tutorial part. Tutorial. All right, that is it for the island tutorial part, guys. Uh, I'm going to fly over here, and I'm going to show you uh, the, the lower ones. I'm going to go through the numbers so you can see them and how to do the numbers and the different trim pieces around everything. And then the last piece will be how to fix the bow. So let me fly over here and we'll look at the islands. All right guys, starting with the USS Nimitz, again, the first eight will all look like this here. So different trim around the island. Uh, I've got some Beware the uh, Rotor Blast here. It's painted on the side uh, of the islands, on all the islands, they all have them. Uh, but again, we're going to go over the first eight, and then I'll show you the, the, the Reagan and the bush. And then I've got some red pieces here. And these are just, uh, you know, to mark fire stations so you can easily find them. Uh, you know, when you're out here on the deck, you can turn around and look for the red. You can see the fire stations. And you can build some little fire stations on the outside. Um, now, as far as the 68 goes, that's what it looks like. These, the bottom blacks, again, I did not adjust this, and I probably should have right here. <laughs> not with that. Take this out. And then put the buttons back. I took the shadowing off the bottom, each of the numbers, uh, in order to get it to fit here and look good. Uh, if you if you look at it, it's it's kind of simple. It's like taking everything in white, shifting it over one, and then dropping it by one. But I can't put the shadow on the bottom on some of them because it just it looks very stupid. Uh, and then same thing on the other side of this eight. It just makes it very very thick. Um, so this is how I got it to look, and I think it looks I think it looks really good like this. But anyways, there's your 68 from this side. And again, you can stop the video where you need to. Uh, on the sides of these towers here, I got some more little fire stations marked out. Same thing back here, some cobblestone wall pieces. Uh, on the back side here, uh, I've got some cobblestone wall, whoops, running all the way up and underneath. And some little buttons on the side. There's cameras all around the islands, guys, that pretty much videotapes everything on the deck. Uh, and that's kind of what the buttons represent. If you're on a server or even on single player on the PC, you can actually pull in the camera heads. Uh, they're player heads that look like cameras and place them around the island so there's a, a nice little tip for you uh, to kind of spruce that up and make that look even better you're going to probably have to readjust your doors at least this one because that one goes in and we fall down the stairs so you might want to move that probably this way right here and then there is the 68 on this side all right as far as uh, markings up here um, there's there's different flags and colors and markings on the sides up here, I can't remember what they all mean now, uh, but there's just different colors. Again, you can pull up some pictures and, uh, and put in you know, banners and blocks of different colors uh, to make different flags and things like that uh, around the top. Uh, as far as the rest of it, yeah, see, I did cut that thing off. <laughs> Those that follow this piece know what I'm talking about. Uh, anything else? We've got some more markings on this side. Uh, again, we've got, make sure you put all your, all your bars all the way around. I think we've got uh, some fence post pieces. Again, these got some lights on them, some like deck lights that shine down on the decks. Uh, same thing right here. Uh, some of them hold, uh, again, like little satellite pieces or radar pieces or whatever. Got some more here. Just kind of decorate it the outside, something like that. Uh, again, there's another uh, missile box here of some sort. And I think that is pretty much it as far as all the detailing goes. Again, you can just stop the video wherever you want. All right, now the rest of them, I'm just going to fly through, and I'm going to show you the numbers on each side, and I'm not going to talk. It'll probably be quiet. I don't want to put any music to it uh, and, and risk any kind of future copyright. But again, I'm just going to float in front of it for just long enough so we can get the numbers, and it's part of the video. Again, ignore the black ones down here on this side. I don't have them fixed.
again down here on the sevens. Oh, and I did forget to mention uh, a, a little American flag on the front and uh, some more trim pieces. I just I thought of that while I was flying around this one. Sorry. <laughs> These ones are way, way off. This one it just made sense to put the shadowing on the on the four. I said I wasn't gonna talk. <laughs> I'm talking anyways. Alright, and then the seventy six and the seventy seven. Reagan and the bush. This is where it changes. And as far as detailing on this one goes, same thing. I've got buttons down here on the sides. I've got some cobblestone wall pieces going up. And again, you just stop the video where you want. There's our doors in the back. Uh, some more of the fence pieces around the outside. Uh, the flag still goes in the front. And uh, beware of the rotor blast. Some more fire stations here. Did I get the front of the 76 for it? I can't remember. I think I did. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, it just some more colors up here. It's pretty much the same. Like from here forward, is there, everything is exactly the same as the smaller ones. I just kind of stretched it out and then moved out the walls. And then we've got the last one here. And there. All right, I'm going to fly down here really quick, and I'm going to show you the uh, the deck numbers. All right, so as far as this goes, this is how you're going to make your sevens, and uh, you're just going to come across the top, like right here is the center of the ship, and you're just going to go. Obviously, you're going to split one on each side, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the outline for basically. If you made a big zero, it's going to be seven by one. Whoops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Again, so if you made a 0, uh, like if you're doing the 70, this is what you're... Whoops, I didn't go in enough here, did I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there we go. And here, and here, so if you made a big 0... And obviously it wouldn't be on that side. It should have did it on that side. That would be your zero. And then figure everything else out from that. So your center line off those is here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. And then all you got to do is think of a uh, like a digital calculator or something like that. And that's how you're going to figure out how to make your numbers. And you're just going to have to stretch them a little bit. Like right here was my seven that I just showed you. So across the top. You know, I just started removing these because I knew that wasn't part of the seven. And you just like lay it out in pink first, and uh, and then move your blocks around. And then once you figure out the number itself, uh, then you can you know go ahead and put it down in the deck with white. But here's like four, three, three, and then I moved it over here three. I kind of skipped over a little bit, a little bit of fudge power one two three. That way everything comes out a little bit better, and it doesn't come down to here so again you're gonna have to eh, just fudge it a little bit that's all I did um, and then there's the there's a six which you should already have uh, the six from the 68 you have the eight from that and then the rest you can use the numbers off the sides of the uh, the towers kind of for references and just like I said just kind of play around with it 
and, uh, and and figure out the numbers. It's it's not really hard. Again, it's just another little piece of challenge for you guys to add to the tutorial uh, along with the rigging, uh, keep you busy and keep you interested and make you better builders when you you know figure out things by yourself. All right, those that have done the rigging and the bush, uh, if you want to, it's underwater. You don't have to. It is optional. I did it to mine. Uh, basically, I ripped the uh, the bulbous bow off of the Ford and I made it fit. Um, it's the exact same piece off from the Ford tutorial, but I'm going to show you how to make it here in just a minute. Uh, it's underwater. You don't have to put it on there, but if, again, if you want to try to keep it accurate, uh, the Reagan and the Bush have the bulbous bow, and uh, that's why the Ford carriers have it. Um, they were integrated on the Reagan uh, and the Bush. They decided they were going to have it on the new Ford class carriers, so, but they implemented it on the, the Reagan and the Bush. But anyways, uh, a little bit of history lesson for you. No big deal. We're going to fly over here and we are going to build the bulbous bow. All right, guys, this is the bulbous bow section. Again, for the Reagan and the Bush. You know why you're here. <laughs> you want to change this nose piece. So basically what you're going to have to do right here where the black starts, everything red underneath from this block back one two and then one two three four five six and then one right here everything from here forward you're gonna have to rip off just completely obliterate it there should be nothing left and this is the piece that we're gonna build so this part is the old ship and this part is the old ship and obviously everything in here is what we're gonna build so that's that's the piece and this is what you should have so you're going to have this part of your ship going back and then the black piece going up and into the gray. And so what I need you to do is build a center line. So we've got two down white, two forward white, four forward white, four forward white, two diagonal white. Go diagonal again and go four down white and then back one, two. And then from this block here to this block back here should be 20 blocks. Make sure that is correct or this is not going to work. All right, I'm going to build one side. You guys are going to build the other. Layer number one. We're going to come out by two and then back by two and then out by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to go in by three. One, two, three. And then out by four. One, two, three, and four. All right, go ahead and fill this in solid. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, layer number two. There's layer number one. Layer number two starts right here. Go back one, two and then out one, two, and then go out by one and go straight back. Super, super easy piece right here. And it should connect in to your ship. All right, and then we've got six pieces. So one, two, three, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Super easy, easy layer. All right, layer number three, we're gonna go right here on top of this and go one, two, three, and hook up on the back side and go one, two, three. All right, and then one, two, three. All right, cover up on the outside. One, two, three, and go back 11. Four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So it should overhang by one. Leave four blocks exposed on the outside. One, two, three, four, and cover up with five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're gonna go to the inside by three, and then we're gonna come out by four. One, two, three, and four, and then back in by one. Again, looks just like that. All right, next layer, guys. We're gonna go right next to here, and we're gonna go one, two and then we're gonna go one two and then one here and then back by two and then out here and go straight back should connect into the side of the ship here cover that up leave one exposed on the front and go one two three four five six seven all right next layer guys we're gonna go right behind here and cover up these one two three four five oops five right here go back by one go diagonal by one go diagonal by one and back by two so right there by two and then go out to this one here and it should go straight back and connect in just like that and then five pieces on top one two three four five super super easy all right next layer we're going to right behind here one two three and then we're going to come back by one back by one and then go diagonal by one here and then go diagonal by two one two and then go diagonal by one and then go straight back into the side of the ship just like that all right next layer we're going to go back by one back diagonal by one back diagonal by two back diagonal by two again hook up on the front of this one here and go back five two three four five and come out by one and connect into the back of the ship next layer we're going to go right behind here one two three and then we're going to cover up in the outside one two three cover up one two cover up one two three four come out by one diagonal and connect into the side of the ship all right next one we're going to go here by one 
we're gonna go out here by one, two, three. I'm gonna go out here by one, two, three, four, and then go out here and connect into the side of the ship. All right, we're gonna go right next to here on this next layer. One, two, three, four, five. Hook up on the last two. One, two, three, four, five. Hook up on the last one right here and go to the back of the ship. I guess I could have stayed right out there and it connected. All right, we're gonna go right next to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna come back here, leave these three blocks exposed and cover up to the back of the ship right here. All right, out of the middle, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then on the outside right here, we're gonna leave the front two exposed and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one. All right, last one right on top, one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, just like that. Super, super simple. Same thing on the other side. Make sure you fill that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. And again, stop the video where you need to in case you might have messed up. And that is it. That is the bulbous bow. Super, super simple. <laughs> it looks like a boot, <laughs> like a red shoe. Everything with the Nimitz carriers, everything that I can think of, the only thing that is missing is the anchors. And I, and I tried to make something and I just I can't come up with anything that looks really good. So maybe later on down the road I can come up with something. Uh, or maybe you guys can come up with something, something and send me pictures. And, uh, and if I like it, I'll use it. I'll tweet it out or put it on Facebook or something like that. Uh, but like always, guys, I really, really appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.